What's going on guys? My name is Tex and today we are going to show you how you can run your own live podcast on any platform without having to have everyone in the same room. Now it's pretty simple. Uh, there's a couple tools you will need. That is OBS, Skype for content creators, as well as the NDI plugin for OBS. Now all the links for this will be down in the description. I'm not going to go through on how to download and install them. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you just download it, click on the executable, let it install, you're done. The reason why we recommend using Skype with OBS when you're doing a live podcast with people from across the country or across the world is because this is basically the one way that you can ensure that there's no lag, everyone's audio is synced up, and you get the most control over everyone's feet and we are going to be going through on how to set up the ndi aspect within obs so the first thing you want to do after everything's downloaded and installed is you want to go ahead and open up skype for content creators now when skype is open you are going to want to click on these three dots when you hover over it it says more click on that and go to settings once you are in settings it'll give you a bunch of different information when you are in your settings click on the calling tab and then click on advanced once you are in advanced, you will see this option under content creators, allow NDI use it. And you want to make sure that it is blue, meaning that it is on a little warning here. When you are in a Skype call with anybody, uh, as long as this option is turned on, it will show up on their end, a little bar at the top that says this person may be recording your conversation with NDI. Now, once allow NDI usage is on, you wanna go ahead and open up OBS. So we have OBS open, Skype is open in the background, and uh, we have no scenes, no sources, no nothing. Let's make sure that you have your NDI plugin installed. If you click on tools and you see NDI output settings, then you know that your plugin is installed correctly. From here, you wanna get into a call on Skype with your co-host, your guest, whatever the case may be. Okay, there we go. All right, so we hopped into a call on Skype and uh, we want to bring it into OBS. We have our buddy here, Engage. Uh, he's helping us with this. Look at that pretty face. So once you are in OBS, the first thing you want to do is click on the plus sign. Then you want to go to NDI source. If you don't see it, that means you need to reinstall the NDI plugin. Once that's there, you can name it whatever you want. Press OK. And then under source name, that is going to be the most important part here. You want to find that person under your source name. By default, when you are in call with just one person, you will see three options, which is Skype local. Skype local will be your camera in Skype. Skype live CID. This is the other person. It could be their username. It could be random like this is with a bunch of random numbers and letters and then you have skype active speaker we'll get into the skype active speaker in just a second so let's go ahead and add engage over to obs we're going to choose our second option here uh the bandwidth the sync yuv range yuv color space leave that all default you do not want to mess with that it's going to mess everything up and just click on okay and give it a second to load through now we see it loaded through engage is showing up in obs and and from there on it's just like setting up your own personal stream you just resize it any way you want put it anywhere on the overlay and you do this for each person that's going to be in your podcast and something to keep in mind it took me a while to figure this part out when you are live streaming using skype ndi uh, some of the cameras may resize at random. They'll get super small, super big. One way to stop that from happening and to make sure that the camera stays the same size at all times. You wanna right click on the source. You wanna go to transform and edit transform. Once you are there, you will see bounding box type. You wanna go ahead and click on scale to inner bounds. Now, of course, the camera's gonna resize back to the default size, but now as you are streaming, his camera is going to stay the same. It's not going to get bigger. It's not going to get smaller. So if you guys are having a problem with that, that's the quickest and easiest fix. Now, let's say you have about four to six hosts and you want to make it to where whenever someone speaks, their camera shows up bigger than all the rest. This is where the active speaker option comes in handy. You want to add another source. Then under source name, you want to add active speaker. So if we add that, it's going to show whoever is speaking currently within Skype. And we are in a call with only one person. So of course, you know, it's going to constantly be showing his camera. Something you should know is that if you are hosting the call from your computer, it will not show you as the active speaker. Something that I do recommend is using a separate computer and then uh, having a dummy account, go ahead and start the call and have everyone join it. So your camera will show up under active speaker. All right, Engage, I'm done with you, you nasty whore. 
blood donors in Sweden receive text when their blood is used? What? That's actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, yeah, saved a life today. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it is as easy as that. Uh, you can add as many NDI sources as you want, and uh, it'll show up just like that. You can resize them. Just make sure to go to edit, transform, and scale to the inner bounds. Now, when you are doing your podcast like this, uh, a couple recommendations is the audio mixer. Now, this is something that, now this is a video we will have out in the near future on how to modify everyone's own audio. When you add a new NDI source, it will add a new audio channel. So we see here we have Cutie, which is our cutie here engage and then we have the ndi source which would be our active speaker now whenever someone talks doesn't matter who the audio will play through each and every source so i recommend going to your settings clicking on audio and make sure that your desktop audio is enabled and then you mute all the other ndi sources now if there's too many there and it starts getting on your nerves you can always right click on that audio channel and you can always click on hide so this way once it's muted it's not there it makes things a little bit more organized there's also the settings of your podcast so at least for the zexy experience when we do our podcast we try to keep it high quality but we also try to keep in mind that not everyone can view it live at 1080p some settings to live by and of course this is going to be different for everybody based on what kind of hardware your rig has you want to go to your output channel and you want to take a look at your bit rate as well as your keyframe here so for bitrate, I usually keep ours at about 3,500. This will ensure that the quality is still high, but it's not too high to where people who are watching it live won't be able to view it. Now, as far as the keyframe interval, this is basically all up to you. I usually put it at zero and just let it do its own thing. Never had any problem. Then you want to go to the video tab. This is probably the most important aspect of everything. Remember, you are doing a now. Remember, you are doing a live video podcast. So your base canvas resolution, I always keep mine at 1920. 20, 1080p for whatever I'm doing because you always want to have a larger image on your canvas and have it scaled down so you don't lose quality with that being said our output scaled resolution will be 1280 by 720 this will ensure that our live podcast stream will be at 720p our downscale filter uh, this really isn't all that important I don't recommend changing it unless you know what you are doing uh, keep it at by cubic a lot of people will say oh well i want the best quality possible i'm gonna set it to 60. you are doing a live video podcast okay you are taking the streams from skype and putting it into obs if you put your fps values to 60 it's not really going to make any difference at all on everyone's camera so just leave it at 30 you save some resources and you possibly just saved yourself on trying to figure out why your viewers are buffering or why you are having drop frame once all that is said and done you want to press OK. Make sure that everything's looking good. Looking nice. Nice and tight, okay? And then you want to click on Start Stream and get that show rolling. That's it. It's as easy as that to set up a live video podcast on whatever streaming platform you want. So now that you know how to add people into your live video podcast, go out there, make a show, entertain some people, and watch out for the next video where I show you how to take your live video and turn it into a MP3, upload it to all these different sites, and get exposure. My name is Tex, and uh, I hope this video has helped at least a little bit. So if you're not subscribed already, 